morning, g'day YouTube, Matt here. How's everyone going? Um, I'm not doing so well of, at the moment. My mental health has been pretty severe and I feel very lonely and I feel like I just don't want to do anything at the moment. Um, been having a lot of thoughts in my head that are not fun and um, I just hopefully everything can calm down. Um, I just want to talk about my life a little bit and uh, get to so you guys get to know me a little bit better. Um, like I said I'm Matthew I'm 37 years of age and I come from Brisbane and um, I was born with a rare urological birth defect. I have videos already on that on my channel so when you get a chance you can go through some of those things and some of my infos in the bio. Um, I've had a really rough life. I know that there's people out there that's had a rougher life than what I have, but this is my story, and yeah, my whole childhood memories have been blocked out completely, and my brain has blocked out a lot of things, which is not, in ways it's good, but in other ways it's bad. Um, you see, um... It's also blocked out a lot of happy memories. I've got no memories of birthdays or anything exciting, which is appalling and doesn't help with my head. Um, I was teased and bullied at school on a daily basis. My parents have told me stories of what, what happened and some of those things that have happened were shocking. Um, like I said, I was teased, bullied daily, which doesn't do your head any good. Um, I was nearly killed on the playground. Some kids apparently found a piece of rope, wrapped it around my neck. Luckily, it didn't work, and I'm still here today. Um, but it does uh, physically and mentally affect you when something bad like that has happened. Um, also spending time in and out of hospital hasn't helped, um, you know, you start to get sick of doing the same old routine, and it just gets a part of your life, and when you've got mental health on top of your physical health issues, it's hard, and I just am struggling to try and get back onto the right track, um, I'm hoping that in the next couple of days I can get out of this hump. It's just driving me crazy and, you know, I just hope... It's just really, really annoying. You know, I try my hardest just to look after myself. Um, and, yeah... Um, being in and out of hospital all my life, having medical procedures and all that, it's hard. And it's also hard when you're a kid being in and out of hospital. You miss out on so much school and that's not fun. And because of my condition, urinary condition, I've got to see a doctor for the rest of my life. And you get sick of doctors, but you, but you have to do it. It's just so hard to, um, just to focus on all the positive things, but when you've had stuff happen in your life, it's hard to do, be happy, and people say, chin up and be happy, but it's hard when, when you think about what's happened, and all that, and it's hard when you've got no support. When your family, when you have a few family members that don't understand or 
don't want to help, that's hard. And, you know, and you want to try and talk to your friends about it, but, but I find it hard. Why should I offload all my worries to someone else's plate when their plate's full? You know, that's just the hardest thing for me. And I'm struggling right now, and the struggle's real. And trying to, um, just trying to get back on the, the right road is hard. And I just wish I didn't have all these problems. I wish I was just normal. I wish, you know, I just wish that, um, I don't keep asking for help, but I always ask for help. And... I don't know if I'm going down the right direction. You know, life has really thrown me a curveball. I know it's thrown people, other people's lives a throw a, a, a problem, but this is my problem. This is my reality. I just want to document everything that I can document. And, you know, I'm just so over it. It's just something that I'm trying so hard but when when you've got to follow doctor's instructions and have a group of different medical problems like my birth defect and then on top of that I have high blood pressure and on top of that my mental health I've got a lot of anxiety, depression I've been diagnosed with autism and all those things make things so hard to try and focus on all the other parts of your life. And I'm just so grateful that I have a GP that really does understand. She's the best. And, you know, when I see her and want to know how I feel, she really cares. And that's what I like about the GP I have. You know, there are times when you don't want to go to her when I don't want to go to her and that's a bad thing for me as all my health issues dr dringle, dringle down it's not good I need to do a better job of looking after myself but when your mental health plays up, plays up like it does for me I stay in my room and I stay in there for days on end which is not healthy at all and I realise that but I just don't want to face the world the world, why should I face the world when I have no, not much support and, you know, I ask my friends for help, I get it, but the problem is, it's within my own family, that what makes it hard, and my, most of my family doesn't know that I've been diagnosed with all this mental issues because they don't want to know about me much and that really sucks so I've got to keep everything bottled down and when I bottle down everything it just when it comes out it comes out badly because I've got no outlet and for me to make this YouTube channel this is going to be my outlet and um you know I know sharing this to the world, people don't want to know about this, but I just want to document my feelings, what I've been through, and, you know, this might help somebody, but if I can get help from other people with this, it'd be great, but also it'd be great if I can help someone else. You know, the pain's real, and I just wish this would end quickly I just don't want to be miserable all the time it really sucks I've been missing out on so much work which is not good not good at all my mental health is just dwindling and it makes me sad honestly I'm over it and you know and also when I was a child what happened with my mother she used to be really cruel to me in a sexual way and it's starting to affect me now as an adult 
part of it was due to my birth defect and it's really starting to get to me and it's not fair you know I don't want these to happen but it does happen and I'm at my it's it's when it at the end of my wit I just don't know how to continue on I'll just continue on I'll just stay in my little bubble and I will just keep slowly slowly trying to work my way out of this heap and I'm just it's just gonna take me a few days to get out of this and I should be normal again in the next couple of days it's just I hate how it just hits you so quickly when you're not ready for it that's what gets to me okay guys I want to update you guys again in the next couple of days I'll sign off now edit this video upload it and hopefully this can spread across the world and I'm hopefully I can help someone or someone can help me you guys have a wonderful evening and see you later guys until the next video bye bye